hey guys my name is rohit so in this tutorial i am going to looking at ssl and ssh protocols ssl stands for secure socket layer is a computer networking protocol for securing connections between network application clients and servers over an insecure network such as internet but due to numerous protocol and implementation flaws and vulnerabilities SSL was deprecated for use on internet by the in Internet Engineering Task Force IETF in 2015 and has been replaced by TLS protocol which stands for Transport Layer Security Protocol. So first let's talk about SSL. SSL uses a combination of public key and symmetric key encryption to secure a connection between two machines typically a web or mail server and a client system communicating over the internet or another tcp ip network ssl provides a mechanism for encrypting and authenticating data sent between processes running on a client and a server from 1990s ssl is being used by https to provide encryption over the internet so now let's talk about tls tls protocol evolved from ssl protocol and has officially superseded it although the terms ssl or SSL TLS are still commonly used to refer to the protocol used to secure internet traffic. SSL is the most widely deployed security protocol used today and according to Google, it is being used to secure more than 50% of the pages loaded by the Chrome browser. In addition to supporting the transmission of web pages, SSL has been implemented for applications including email, file transfer, instant messaging, and voice over IP. Let's now talk about SSH protocol. SSH stands for Secure Shell or Secure Socket Shell. It is a network protocol that gives users, particularly system administrators, a secure way to access a computer over an unsecure network. SSH also refers to the suite of utilities that implement the SSH protocol. It provides strong authentication and encrypted data communication between two computers connecting over an open network such as internet. SSH is widely used by network administrators for managing systems and applications remotely, allowing them to log into computers over a network, execute commands and move files from one computer to another computer, etc. That's pretty much it from SSL and SSH protocol. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.